Jesse, you are standing way too close to the light. I can sleep here. <laughs> some of like some I of the bugs sleep. are sleeping on I you right just now. Let it all come to me. <laughs> come to me. Yeah. I have the power. <laughs> Another Arizona 2019 trip video for you guys this week. Almost out of Arizona footage, gonna have to take some more trips. Missing the guys that I go on these trips with. Uh, you just saw Jesse Green, real character. Actually, everyone's a character. Uh, maybe someday I'll do, uh, I'll have a Patreon account. Um, it's way too soon for me to ask for that, but we'll have some private uh, videos there for Patreon members that aren't really appropriate for YouTube. <laughs> a lot of really fun times down there. Um, I just got done doing an interview with uh, Russ from Aquarimax. He interviewed me about orchid mantises, and you guys will be able to see that on his channel here next Friday. His channel is Aquarimax, and I'll put a link down below for that. So, this is video number two of the evening that we spent. We didn't quite make it to Gardner Canyon. The roads were a little bit too, too many obstacles, I guess. Uh, lots of big rocks in the middle of the road. Uh, we did have a four by four vehicle, but at some point we just had to give up because when you're out there in the middle of nowhere, if you have a car problem or pop a tire or something, um, just too far away from getting any kind of help and way too far away for cell phone service and things like that. So please enjoy this video. I'll pop back in to uh, make some comments about some things along the way. Were you rolling around in the mesquite? Were you down on the ground? I had to crawl through some. Yeah? Yeah. That's intense. Were you crawling under barbed wire fences out there in the desert heat? No, I wasn't crawling under barbed wire fences. Just crawl under the seat is what a cat is. So. <laughs> That's quite a story. Anything for a bug. Amen to that. The uh, bigger and smaller. Hemifiliaris yeah. elatus. But it seems smaller than truncatus. I would agree. Um, I have both and I've never seen one in this size. In this next clip, you'll see something that we see very regularly, and I actually do have some better footage of it somewhere, but it's a short clip of, I think, three bombardier beetles and then a weevil that I didn't even see when we were in the moment there. But the bombardier beetles are famous for, um, they have a, a, two chambers in their abdomen and there's two different chemicals in there. And when they feel threatened, um, like when I put my finger near them, they will uh, move a valve and these two chemicals will meet and the chemical reaction, the heat, produces what apparently is the temperature of boiling water, I guess, and it ejects a gas out which looks like a little puff and you can see it in the video and you can actually hear it too. And one of the fun things we do whenever we are with someone new who isn't either familiar with it or has maybe never tried it, is get them to touch the beetles so that they actually spray on the person's finger. And um, it's sort of a rite of passage to uh, be out on the trip with us to take one of these little hits from a bombardier beetle. And it'll leave a tattoo on your finger for, I don't know, a few days to a week maybe. And uh, later in the video, you can actually see on my fingers and I think on Jesse Ray's fingers, some of these tattoos. Bombardier beetles. Check out that spiky guy. Camel cricket. In this next clip, you're going to see a bioluminescent click beetle. I'll never forget the first time. I didn't even know they had existed, that I encountered one in Arizona. I was down at Peña Blanca Lake blacklighting with Don Elin. Uh, he has a YouTube channel called Insect Safari. Some of you may have seen the video where he is um, spreading with pins a dead specimen of a giant uh, deep sea isopod. Anyway, um, 
this thing flew into the light and I could see the little spots glowing on it. And we had seen some fireflies earlier in the night, which we don't see too much here in the Portland, Oregon area. We don't have any ones that are bioluminescent that light up. We have diurnal ones, but they, um, they don't glow like the ones down in Arizona and many of other parts of the country do. Anyway, this click beetle landed on the sheet and uh, it just blew my mind that th there was this animal there that was producing light from its body. Um, I wasn't very familiar with fireflies at that time either in terms of experience. Of course, I knew about them, had read about them, had seen them in videos and things like that. But um, just a really neat thing to see. Uh, unexpectedly and apparently there are five species of them in the United States that do this. I have also uh, gotten some from Florida that light up uh, bioluminescent click beetles and apparently those breed pretty well in captivity and some people are able to reproduce them. Wow! That is so awesome. So awesome. Bioluminescent click beetle. The next clip is about ants, and some of you may have seen this video before. Um, this was actually the night that it happened, and I wanted to include it here because for me it tells the story of the night. Uh, I had uploaded it to YouTube uh, maybe six months ago or something just as a, a clip by itself because it's two or three minutes long but uh, one of my favorite insect collecting memories in terms of just uh, the situation unfolding and being really entertaining for everyone who was there and hopefully for you too. Oh wow, yeah, we're just getting murked. Oh yeah. ants are loving today. Ant lion versus that's, ant. That's, uh... In the battle of ant versus ant lion, <laughs> ant wins. Retribution. In the battle of grasshopper versus ant, ant wins. <laughs> in the battle of in the battle of ant versus ant, ant wins. <laughs> I think the moral of this story is ants win. <laughs> I wonder if we can see every order getting eaten by ants. In the battle of Lepidoptera versus ants, ants win. Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah, the ants win. That's... Wait, wait, wait! I don't know! I don't know what's gonna happen! I don't know what's gonna happen! Oh! There was only one ant. That's... Lives to fight another day. Oh, look at that little buddy. Oh! In the battle of ants versus oh, ant oh, mimicking oh, spiders. Ant and spider, right on. Oh, velvet ant! Battle of Velvet Ant versus Jesse Ray. Velvet Ant loses. Jesse Ray wins. Right there at Giraffe Neck Ground Beetle. All these bugs on the sheet. It's pretty amazing how few larvae we encounter out here. There's one right there. It's not moving much at the moment. But I saw it just a moment ago. Feeding. Inch worming around. Can't hardly see it anymore there. Blending in with the stick. Pretty good way of protecting yourself. With all those moths, you'd think there would be more larvae around, but they are very good at hiding. That looks like a queen ant right there. A lot of ant people will probably get excited about this. I don't know what kind of ant it was. Oh, and then right here we have a praying mantis blooming in, blending in ever so nicely with the 
foliage. Mantis? Yeah. with some interesting patterning on its wings here. I mean, how do you... How are you not interested in insects? So many different kinds. Just don't know what you're going to find on the next leaf. You've got to be careful, though. When you're looking through things out here in Arizona, these plants protect themselves. Lots of things have spines on them. You just can't get away from them. Vibrating its wings. All these moths. Here. Attracted by the black light, but not quite making it all the way. It's like decorated. It's like Christmas for us. Uh, right. That is really pretty. If we stand over here long enough, something will fly right in the web. <laughs> hey, look at this. Look at this bristle tail. The long oh. antenna. Wow, wow. That is the longest antenna I've ever seen on one of those things. Strange place for them to be. Oh, here, here you go. Here's a little uh, nymph assassin bug in. Oh, yeah. Where all the prey is, and there's going to be predators. That's right. Oh, there's a mating pair of moths right there. Oh, wow. There's just so much going on here. I have so many people that send me photos of mating crane flies that are always like, what bug is this? Is that right? Actually, it's two. <laughs> fucking cool. Did you ever get one of these pink ones, Jesse? Oh, no. I've been looking for one though. It's prone out of jacked. A little jacked, but... Oh, no, it's all messed up. That's... No, it's not. You're taking that. You're taking that. You don't have one. You're taking it. Look at all that activity. That's why they're all over us. You guys have no idea. <laughs> this moth has been on my shoe for like an hour. <laughs> I just keep forgetting to take it off because I look down there for a second and it's there. Jesse Ray called this the uh, Beetle Super Highway. <laughs> we got taxi service what? here. One of those hitching a ride? Hitching a ride. <laughs> so lazy. <laughs> that moth was moving too slow. It's got a slow driver up in front. <laughs> Click beetles up in front. We got a little may beetle, a moth, and then this guy here, hey check him. Shapesinnature.com yeah. Jesse, you've really got this black lighting thing down. I love it! Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching.